seen a pole. Don't blood in the street from hood to hood. I see scope, blue hunters, low key, demon, go. Straight out of D, cause I dominated, cause I know I'm a D, cause my mama made it, and I know she a G, cause my grandma made it, and I know I'm a C, cause I'm carbonated, all the melanin key, cause it's automated, yeah, I picked up the key, cause Obama made it, if it's left up to me, then I'm out of Vegas, cause I've been worth a B billion dollar, baby, I done signed with the Billy, like Sound of Vegas, so they looking greasy, like McDonald's made it, but it's B&T, cause we not mad, right. it's the flip of the scene, I'm always blood in the street, from hood to hood, blue hunters, low key, demon, go. Straight out of D, cause I dominated, cause I know I'm a D, cause my mama made it, and I know she a G, cause my grandma made it, and I know I'm a C, cause I'm carbonated, all the melanin key, cause it's automated, yeah, I picked up the key, cause Obama made it, if it's left up to me, then I'm out of Vegas, cause I've been worth a B billion dollar, baby, I done signed with the Billy, like Sound of Vegas, so they looking greasy, like McDonald's made it, but it's B and T, cause we not. Good evening. I am your host, Miss TML. You are now tuned in. Real Talk with TML. And I just want to say this guest that is here tonight with us, he is a major deal. He is someone that I just have high regard for. I've seen his movement for the last two years, and I've been totally impressed by just how orchestrated and organized he is in his branding and marketing. And I just want to give him his flowers and tell him how, you know, just important he is to this industry and just showing how independently you can still be very successful in this business. Um, I'm trying to unmute him, but I think he's muted. Trillian, no, I, I muted it on my end just so I didn't have any background noise while you gave your beautiful <laughs> intro. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, but I just want to say that you are a person that I was actually introduced to, to through. Um, I want to shout him out because I think he, he is one of the biggest forces on your marketing team. Um, no real Peters uh, is what I yeah. think he goes yeah. by. Shout out, to, shout out to non real you know, that's uh that's my dog right there, man. He good people, man. He do definitely do the promo game. Um determination. He's a very determined character. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, yeah. That was so dope because again, I was actually able to, you know, get a look of you through him. And then I came across next level through Knox and you know, the coalition, and I was like, wait a minute, he's associated with him. And I was yeah. like, this all makes sense now, you know, in regards to just how you guys have come together and created this force um, in music. And it's something that is actually, you know, making headways and giving people opportunities. And I just want to salute you as a king, um, as a man who, you know, is of his word and of his caliber. And I think that just seeing your bio and your resume and, and the things that you've done and have had and have accomplished is important to recognize because it's a journey as an artist. Man, I so appreciate it, man. You know, uh, I do everything that I do just so I can save the next person. Man, to go through some of the stuff that I went through. Um, I came up in the in the in the era of boosting, grabbing, um, you know, actually being on tour with them guys. Um, you know, and uh, I learned a lot. Shout out to Derek Marquise Johnson, aka Derek for real. Um, that's Webby's older brother. He's behind all the marketing campaigns from him, from Webby, and uh, his son Trey Savage, who was making a major move. He's got a song with uh, NBA Young Boy over a million views on, on YouTube. You know, he's making a splash right now too. Um, but yeah, you know, those guys at my partner label, Badass Savage Life. And then also real life music, which was being Alex Bond, the next level DJ coalition, and so on and so forth. Definitely shout out to Worldwide Collaboration as well. You know what I'm saying? It's another company that I have, I have ownership in, you know, that we really are using to build up our brand, you know, yeah. make it bigger than life. Yeah. And you're doing it. I mean, when I look at you guys' you know, um alliance and just all the people that are associated with your brand and the relationships that you have in the industry, I think that's important because people don't understand how networking and actually working with people outside of your network is important. You know, it's super and, important. Oh, uh, 
and and you do it. And that was something that I wanted to be a part of. So I was like, listen, sign me up. Next level DJ coalition, I'm doing it because again, I've come across so many different organizations and people who were just not you know, professional or organized. And, you know, they say they have all these, you know, things going on and all these resources and they're not readily there for you. And that's one of the things that I wanted to highlight tonight is in regards to Next Level DJ Coalition and what you guys stand by in regards to having all the resources there in one place on the website, um, sending updates, sending DJ pool lists. Those things are important to get artists- Super important. You know, and that- it's something when I seen that, I was like, listen, I got to do, I got to be a part of this because it's history in the making, as I think what, what people need to know, you know, is that Trill Will is history in the making and he's showing artists and, you know, just the industry be a different way. And I think that's important. So shout out no, to I, I definitely appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I went, I went against the grain, you know, I mean, like, there's a lot of times where bringing people together and everybody, just be clear, everybody doesn't want to be unified. So just making the distinguishing, uh, finding the distinguishing characteristics that can kind of let me know like, okay, well, these people right here, they're not really interested. They want to continue to do their own thing. And even though they're not really making where they want to go, you have to let some people continue to hit their head on the wall. But then eventually through time and trial and error, you know, you be able to put together a team of people who like they completely understand the vision. All right, I get it. We're locked down. We're gonna go. You know right. what I'm saying? That's right. And I tell people that you ha you're stronger together than you are apart. And people rep you know recognize unity. They re they recognize an impact. And that's what you know you guys say. You know, and you stand for it. And I respect it because there's so many organizations that are disorganized and not together and don't, you know, inspire and support each other, even within the organizations and coalitions that they're a part of. Um, and I just see this, you know, this brotherhood, this sisterhood within our coalition. And I just want to say that's, that's something that I give high kudos and high respect to you for. I mean, you know, and another thing too, you know, we're in the era right now where we're coming back full circle to direct to consumer marketing. Right. And not even just marketing, but direct to consumer, period. Meaning that cutting out a lot of the middlemen in the product, you know what I'm saying? Being able to provide subscription based services where you can offer, um, you know, things that you wouldn't normally get, you know, like a worldwide collaboration. We have a tier system, next level DJ coalition, even packages you can buy from promotion and marketing within the DJ coalition, um, email blasts. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, there's there's different things now that we have available resources because I know a lot of artists, they don't really know where to start resourcing at. They might want a resource, but they don't really know how to start resourcing because they haven't got their own resources in order. And a lot of times that I tell people all the time that, you know, when you're an artist, you know, or 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 anything dealing with music with your CEO, your manager. You're literally sacrificing your life and your family members to do what you're doing because you're not going to be able to spend time with them the way you would be. You would normally be able to, especially if you have a love and a desire to be the best. You know what I'm saying? And to be and to compete to be the best at all times. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Girl, it's just so having funny. it's so funny that you say that because that's one of my biggest things right now is, you know, in regards to music and the entertainment business, I've sacrificed a lot, you know, and people need to understand that when, you know, so many times I wanted to quit, I wanted to give up, I wanted to say, oh, this is it, I, you know, I need to try something different. And right. I thought about all the sacrifices, I thought about all the time that I missed without with my family or, you know, with my significant other at the time, because I, I was chasing this vision and, and this passion that I had. And, that's what keeps me going. You know what I'm saying? Is knowing that I don't want those sacrifices to be made in vain. Um, right. um, so people ask me, you know, like, no, I, I still want to do this because I have something that I feel like I'm doing it for. You know what I'm saying? Like all the sacrifices that were made. And you don't give up easily when you know, you know, that this was your destiny. This is what you, you know, are meant to be and what you are meant to do. So some people are chasing a hobby, though. See, that's the thing. 
you know, if, if something is just a hobby, it's something that you do passively. That's right. So basically, basically, you just do it. You don't care what happens with it or not. But right. the people who are looking at this, like, man, this is what I want for myself and the legacy that I want to leave in this earth before, after I leave. You know, this it's a different thing. You know, definitely working towards different goals. A lot of people just want to be famous for the moment, Mister right. right now. You they know, just want to be popular. Cool. They don't yeah. even want to, you know, like it, it's it's sad because I tell people when artists tell me it's a hobby, you're not the artist I want to work with. You know what I'm saying? Not because at all. Like this is really how I, you know, one thing that I respect about Quincy Jones is he said, if you don't treat this business like it puts bread and butter on your table, you're never going to be successful at this business. You got to want it more than you want air. That's right. That's right. You know, and that's where it's like even the investment part, you know, as you know, from, you know, perspectives of being an A&R and, you know, things like that, people who don't necessarily want to invest in their careers for me at this point in, in the game, I don't even want to work with you because if you're right. not willing to invest in yourself, then that told me you don't believe in yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like people who invest in themselves really believe in themselves and you just have to understand you get a bigger return when you invest. And that's boss talk. You know what I'm saying? For a lot of people, a lot of people ain't bosses. And that's what I had to understand. You know, like sometimes you need, you know, people like us to educate and to teach people like, and just to be that force for them because they don't know that part of the business and they're not that per part of the business is what I've come to understand. Right. You know, that's true. You know, that's so, true. I think that, I just think that people should just take the time and to just figure out if that's what they really want to do. And if it is cool, and if not, it's not saying you should do music, but make room for the people who are, this is their plan A, B, and C. You know what I'm saying? Some people, some people, it's their plan D. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't really, I, I have a, yeah, I have, a, I have actual, it's a bigger difference for me you know, um, just knowing that when I got out of prison in 2017, I had less than $1,000 to my name. You know, I didn't have shit, but I was determined to do a couple things. One, not do anything that would lead me to go back to prison. And uh -huh. two, to be successful without, without compromising my morals. And you might be like, well, what are those? God, keeping God first, family second, and only third. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's what GFM stands for. So that's that's the basic principle. Those are the things that I stand on right there because that's allowed me to be able to step outside of the conventional thinking, step outside of the uh, the, the chessboard, so to speak, and to understand that, that I'm not on one side or the other, but I can control both sides should, should I choose to. You know what I'm saying? And so and so that's that's something that I really have I've been blessed because I've always seen a lot of things first person. You know, I've heard I haven't heard a lot of stuff from other people I've seen and, and experienced with my own eyes, hands, and ears, and my spiritual eyes, hands, and ears, and, and my, you know, so I learned and spoke the things that, that really put me in alignment with where I'm going. You know, that's my, my new my new title of the, of, the, uh, of the album coming out as Chief of All Chiefs. You know what I'm saying? That's very significant to me. You that know, that's first. That was uh, the purple cover. The purple yeah, cover, right? She, she was, yeah, as yeah, it, it, it came out, yeah, but it's about to. But trust me, it's done. The first single is going to be featuring Boosie Badass, All oh, Eyes. Yeah. Um, did, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, so uh, it's, it's going to be definitely interesting. It's going to shake some things up. A lot of people doubted me along the way, and I loved it because that's what inspired me to keep going. That's so right. I, wanted to, I wanted to say thank you to them. You know what I'm saying? Because that ain't going to be giving me motivation. Yes, yeah, shout them out. The people that's definitely you know, close to you. Definitely, we want to give them a shout-out. So, any other names that you want to shout-out tonight or um, you want to yeah. give you flowers? Man, uh, shout-out to, to my first my first um, business that I endeavored in when I came home with my partner, uh, Christopher Wills, uh, Full Circle Music Group, even though he's, you know, they got their own thing going on, and I, but I'm still heavily involved, but he was, when I came home, he said, look, bro, I got a website for you. EPK, we're gonna take you some pictures, we're gonna shoot you two or three music videos, and we're gonna get you and we're gonna get you going. And he did that, and I ain't looked back since then when I came home in 2017. Paid for my plane ticket to fly up there to East St. Louis, 
and recorded my shit. And it wasn't the best, but it was something. So I had something to work with. You know Thank what I'm saying? You. And, and that, that got me started, man. So this since I came home this time. Shout out to my partner, Hitmaker RJ. He's producing a whole new project. Um, he only, There's only one song on there that he didn't produce. Um, and uh, it's a major, 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 major project. I love the cohesiveness. If you listen to it, it's one of them. I feel like you got to listen to it together because separately it, it might not be as impactful. But uh, but I'm definitely looking forward to sharing my vision with the world. I do have a podcast on Wednesdays, um, yeah. 3.30 to 4.30. Um, well, usually 3.30, 4.30, sometimes 3.30 to 5.00, depending on how I feel, called The Trillion Show. You can find it on Facebook. I do yeah. have some episodes on YouTube. But I'm trying to concentrate on Facebook for now, and then I'm gonna come to YouTube in a minute here. I'm just trying to get all my all my videos together. I do have a lot of music videos. That's already out. Trail Will, Twenty Racks, Feature on the Problems. Um, also, uh, GFM One, GFM Two, the mixtapes. Those are out and circulating um, on streaming platforms. Um, I have a lot of music to be honest with you. I got songs with great such as um, uh, uh, Young Bleed. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just did one with Boosie, as you heard. It's just, it's a lot. It's a lot, man. You just have to check out, go through my catalog, and really get to get in the vibe. You know what I mean, some things are hit or miss depending on know what kind of flavor you you like. But I got something for everybody, guaranteed. Shout you out do. to Joe Easy too. You do. Yeah. I mean, honestly, like like your catalog is crazy, and I just want to say you give me those vibes, those trap star, those. You know, like when I'm in the car and I want to hear something that's going to motivate me, like, and you're just kicking knowledge and it just sounds so real and raw. And I think that's what captivates people about you. So, you know, you have this essence to you and you can see that through your music. You know what I'm saying? And that's not easy to do. You know what I'm saying? To actually, you know, give a version of yourself through your art and through your music. And you do that. And you're a natural. You're a professional. And I wish you nothing but the best. You know, I think that Man, I appreciate it. I would I would love to have you on my show too. Um, you know, I do my podcast yes. on, on, on StreamYard as well. And I'd love to have you on there. Um yeah. I don't got all the fancy trends on the thing and everything, but <laughs> we get on there and uh, I've done that, but to me it doesn't it doesn't mean anything. I just want to get on there and express my thoughts and feelings and have a platform for my people on my network. To come on, so you're definitely welcome on my platform anytime yeah. and get it in, chop it up, you know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, I have some interesting people that come through my shit, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I love it. I love it. I love everything with me. that you do, and you have nothing but support, uh, from he from me up in the northeastern region. You know, I told you I'm gonna try to get you up here for a show this summer, um, and hey, you know, I just to have you you know rock out for us up here and you know just show the world because i think that you're a force to be reckoned with any show or performance that i've seen you do you own it and that's important i think you know to express to artists that you know it's not just about like you said it's not just about the music it's about your performance it's about how you're showing up to interviews and you know all the different things that You've, you know, I didn't even have to ask the questions. I feel like I have not asked not one question. That is my. Oh time. man, and I'm you, sorry. Go ahead, you can ask the questions. You <laughs> everything, and usually I have an hour, but I've been trying to break it up and do it half an hour. Trying to get more, year. more fan base. Gotcha. Yeah, and I felt like you know I did that before in the beginning when I first started with season one on Facebook. I basically hmm. had you know, an artist from both different regions or two different cities. So then mm -hmm. we can cross network market, you know, and I think that people like us understand the marketing gimmick behind social media. And I use right. it as, Absolutely. you know what I'm saying? Like to people, people don't understand. I'm putting out content and keeping people engaged because this is a business for me. You know what I'm saying? Right. And exactly. I have to entertain, like, and I tell people this ain't easy. Like coming up with different, you know, pitches and niches to try to captivate people is not easy through social media all the time because, again, the tension, the mind frame is very, you know, scattered. So you're like, you know, you have to captivate people, and you do that. And I think that that was my biggest thing. Once I seen, you know, Knox was associated with you, and I said, listen. I got to join this power force and this team and this empire of people who are moving militantly um, to success. And I think that's important to, you know, highlight 
from Next Level and how, you know, other coalitions don't necessarily understand that organization structure because it's important. Yeah, um, and also, man, WWCFam.com is our own Facebook. We have our own social media at WWCFam.com. I can do Zoom mm -hmm. meetings right on my website. We have we sell merchandise. If somebody would like to sell their own prescription prescription based subs uh, subscription or prescription based service, as far as like you, like you have your your platform and your content, mm -hmm. you can set up a page on that, and you can say you can literally use us to make subscription based content. You know, and then and then it'll be available to your people for whatever price you set, whether it's five ninety nine or ten ninety nine or twenty nine nine, whatever it is. That's what we're setting up to where people can really kind of grasp their independence and yeah. really and really and really put their content out there and get paid for it. You're making bosses, you know, and I think it takes a boss to make a boss. People, you know, always say, you know, it's it comes from leaders, you know, and sometimes you have to lead and and make more leaders. And I think that's what you're doing. So kudos to you for that. Yeah, man. I thank you for having me on again. I appreciate it. Hopefully, um, you can come on my show, or I can come back on here again. You whatever. gotta come back. Was, you gotta yeah. come back. I got so yeah, many I with segments and so many different things going on up here up north. So I definitely, again, I, I'm a woman of my word, you know. And when I say I really fuck with you, I really fuck with you, you know. And that's what's up. I appreciate it too. That for me, I was like that solidified it. You know what I'm saying? Like I was like, listen, I'm I'm sold. You know, like this man's movement, his structure is what I want to be a part of. And anything I can do here, anything resources, they're all yours. You know what I'm saying? And, and I appreciate and yeah, it. You know, this is a business for us. And you know, my biggest, you know, goal is to break bread with the people that I'm in business with. You know what I'm saying? So. Any type of you know ideas or different things that you guys have going on, definitely include me. And I want to. Well, that's what. Guys that's what I was going to tell you, man. I was going. I want you to become a member of Worldwide Collaboration too, so we can get you in on these meetings. And in the morning, we usually have meetings eleven thirty to twelve thirty, eleven thirty to twelve ten, actually on Zoom. And uh, we usually do that in the mornings. I'm not on every single meeting, but if I saw that, I know it was going to be available. We're going to be on there. We all get on there. And uh, and we and we just top it up. We, we do screen share. We show each other each other's websites, what we're working on. We, we uh, pool resources together. You know, worldwide collaboration is every movement together. Everybody has their own separate movement. But, yeah, we all represent each other. You know, and that's, I think that's important and very vital. You know what I'm saying? Many times that we're coming in. I love it. And I'm here for it. Anything I can do, I'm ready. Um, I know that you do have a couple of things upcoming. You have a, a award uh, show that's yeah. going to be done in Atlanta um, yeah. and also the movie. So let's talk a little bit about the movie and then talk about the awards because that's okay. The 1111 movie is based on uh, a section of a book called Wet by Radia Johnson. It's R A D. I.A. Johnson, right? And then uh, she wrote that book, and then she's basing the movie on a part of that book. And then, uh, and then from there, we're just gonna, there's going to actually be a whole wet TV series and everything we're working on. She's actually going to be in Florida this weekend, um, and we're going to be filming some dope stuff in Florida. She's going to break out here, so you know, we out here. We outside with it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I definitely got to dip down there and show you guys some love too. And I just read in your um bio that you're from Dadeland, Florida. Yeah, from Dadeland. Yeah. The last time I was there, that's where I stayed, and I can honestly say, like, that was a whole vibe for me because yeah, I'm Dadeland is different. For a lot of deal, like I got good, you know, my father, my grandfather's side of the family is from Florida, so like mm. they're from like um upper part of Florida, like Tampa Northern. and North areas. Um, right. but D land, I was like totally impressed. The mall, everything, like we was over in like this little, I want to say it was like, I don't want to say like a financial district, but it was like Porky's was near there. That was one of the restaurants that I remember. Probably down, probably downtown. Yeah, it was downtown. It was definitely downtown and it was a yeah. mall right near us, but it had a whole little vibe. And I was like, okay, D land, I'm, I'm definitely coming back there. Yeah. 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 Definitely got to fall with us. Shout out to them. That that was definitely a vibe. I tell people I try to go to different places now. The older I get, you know, I want to not just see the party scene areas. I want to be a tourist. Right, right. You want to you you were 
the thing is, if you want to meet the right people, you know what I mean? Like, you got to go to the places where the right people are going. You can't right. go to the club and expect to meet all the right people because all the right people are definitely not in the club. Right. Yeah. Shout out to my girl. She's in Port St. Lucius. Lucius. Uh, yeah, that's dope. I love it. I, I definitely, we're going to chop it up some more. But I know I have another interview. Anything else you want to say before we wrap it up? No, nah, man. Just shout out to Worldwide Collaboration. Man. Make sure you download the app, WWC yeah. Fam. You see the bracelets, the Worldwide Collaboration. You know what I'm saying? We rep that every every show I do. I rep this because, uh, like I said, it's the whole the movement. It's everybody repping together. They're, they're on individual logos and brands, but all together. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we rep each other shit shamelessly. We plug each other shit shamelessly. You know what I'm saying? When I do a podcast, I invite everybody that's got a podcast to come on. I, do, I believe in uh, the barter system, trading service for service or that's service right. for, for, for a product. You know, so that's how we going. That's a hustler for you and 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 real recognized real. So let's do it. I'm ready. All right. Well, let's do it. I appreciate you coming on again. All right, honey. Thank you. Have a great night. Have a blessed one. You too. All right, guys. That was Tro Will. Shout out to him. He's dope. I love his energy everything just professionalism he is a force to be reckoned with and you're going to be seeing more of him uh through my media through my marketing and and things like that because we're going to do some things definitely like i told y'all i'm bringing y'all real people um to this media platform people who can give you information that you can learn from um that you can build with and is out here just really working and i just want you guys to see it Make sure if you're tuned in right now, I see that we do have about 10 people watching. Um, I don't know where you're watching from. Shout out to everybody on the comments. You can actually tune back in. I actually am about to go live with our next guest. She is from Springfield, Massachusetts. Taj New. She is dope, uh, a female boss. Um, and she is just somebody that you guys have to meet. So shout out to her. Make sure y'all tune in. If y'all still on, I'm going to upload the next live. Cause I dominated cause I know I'm a G cause my mama made it and I know she a G cause my grandma made it and I know I'm a C cause I'm carbonated all the melon the key cause it's automated yeah I picked up the key cause Obama made it if it's left up to me then I'm out of Vegas cause I've been worth a B billion dollar baby I done signed with the Billy like Sean to Vegas so they looking greasy like McDonald's made it but it's B and T cause we not